Hey guys, it's Aaron the Hope from Mobile Reviews 8.c and today we're going to do a review of the Lifebeam Smart Hat. Now I'm a pretty big fan of this product. It works quite well. It works much better than those chest strap things that you have to do this all the time. Um, it can measure your heart rate as well as your steps and for the most part it works in almost in all physical activities that I've done except for a few where it doesn't quite work as well. I'll elaborate on that in a bit. Based on my time with this fitness assessor, I'm giving it a score of 4.2 A's out of 5. If you'd rather track all your fitness using something on your wrist, check out our smartwatch reviews and comparisons on our website. Links are in the I or in the description section below. Lifebeam and I are working on doing a giveaway for an actual hat, so it's not going to be in this video, but do stay tuned to my channel and Twitter and Facebook and other stuff uh, for details on what we're going to do with the giveaway. Real usage, real reviews. Mobile reviews, A. .ca. At Mobile Reviews 8.ca, we base all our reviews on real usage, which means if we get a smart hat that has a heart rate sensor and a step counter, well, we're going to put it on, we're going to get our sweat on. Now, the first thing that came to my mind is that this is something I have to go run with, so I tried to run and immediately remembered why I don't run. I don't like it. I've biked with it and I've worked out with it on many different occasions and even wore it once cutting grass for craps and giggles and, and really the most interesting part of this grass cutting footage is just watching Monty roll in the grass. It's just one of those things, you just, you just have to laugh at it. Anyways, for this review, like these fitness devices have so many different applications, you can use them doing so many different things. So my review is really coming from the approach and now you've just seen everything I've do. I've I'm a casual biker. I bike once a day, but just to get the places. I work out. I'm a weightlifter. I'm a cross trainer. So those are the three primary activities that I do on a day-to-day -day basis, and that's kind of where I'm approaching this review from. Now, in terms of design, this hat does a pretty good job of keeping your head cool. I usually get annoyed with sweat in my face, like who wouldn't during a workout. The cap portion isn't very rigid, so if you're a semi-casual cyclist, you can easily get away with putting a uh, bike helmet on top of it. But if you're really into cycling, you should probably check out the bike helmet version. The only caution that I have with this entire helmet helmet hat setup is that you may power off the unit depending on how the back of your helmet is designed. The cap is theoretically a one size fits all, but apparently the size of my big head reaches the limit of this one size fits all product. As you can see, the Velcro strap on this hat is at the very limit, and if you need something to compare it to, I wear a seven and a half inch New Era hat. So anything larger, this Life Bean hat might not work for you. Now, as I mentioned earlier, one of the best things about this hat is that, well, you don't have something strapped to your chest, right? So when you're, several years ago, I don't own a chest strap heart monitor anymore because I threw mine out because it was so frustrating and it broke, but how to polar strap and so you know after doing an intense thing of TRX like every 15 minutes you got to kind of do this right sometimes it gets itchy and it's just it's really awkward having to play with something uh, you know right around here. Cleaning the hat is simple but you just have to remember to remove the electronic pack you have to hand wash this, don't put it in the washer, or do anything that Life Beams, that Life Beams has not to do in their instruction manual. In terms of the actual sensors, there are two, which are the step counter cadence and the heart rate sensor. Heart rate sensor can be found on the front of the hat, and like the, unlike the heart rate sensors found on smartwatches, Life Beam sensor doesn't spew out a green light show when it's on. The only way to tell that the hat is on is actually watching the status light on the electronic unit on the back. Now, as a side note, this technology in the hat is the same tech that's used in fighter jet helmets, which is pretty neat. And another neat thing is that it's going to be used in the next generation of Samsung Fit products. Now, in terms of accuracy, Lifebeam hat will provide better readings than anything you wear on your wrist. As you can see in this short video clip, the hat is saying my heart rate is 149 while the Apple Watch says it's 90. Now, the Apple Watch eventually does play catch up, but from my perspective and for any of the fitness devices that I've uh, tested that's on my wrist, the Apple, they always seem to be playing catch up for my heart rate. In terms of compatibility, the Lifebeam hat can connect to your favorite fitness apps via Bluetooth 4.0 and Ant Plus. I've personally connected the Lifebeam hat to Polar Beat, Wahoo Fitness, Endo Mondo, and Map My Run on both iOS and Android devices, and of course, as well as the Apple Health app. In terms of actual third party hardware, there are over 200 devices that this hat will connect to, so there's a good chance that whatever tech you're lugging around while getting your sweat on is going to work. Now, in terms of overall practicality, if you're any time that I'm going to be exercising, this thing's probably going to be on my head. It's a hat, it keeps my head dry, it's pretty awesome that way, but you wouldn't wear it like just normally. You know, it's not one of those, you know, well, this is an Apple Watch, but like a Fitbit Surge provides 24 hour heart rate tracking. It's not something that you wear, wear 24 hours at a time. So, in terms of, you know, all day uh, practicality, yeah, no, it's only got a 17 hour battery and a day has 24 hours, so that's just generally not going to work. 
LifeBeam does include a quality carrying case, so you can easily bring it with you wherever you need to go if you're traveling. It's a bit bulky in my opinion, but that's just me, and if you're spending $100 on a smart hat, you might as well just take some good care with it. Now, at the beginning of the video, I mentioned there were a couple of instances where this hat doesn't fare as well. I wouldn't recommend the hat if all you do is lift iron and to a certain extent do uh, CrossFit. The visor portion gets in the way of your shoulder press exercises. You lose a bit while doing push-ups on the floor, and the location of the battery pack doesn't work well as it gets in the way of lying down on a flat surface or a bench. You can move the hat on your head, but then it feels a little uncomfortable and you still know that the battery pack is there. If you're an endurance person or the weights kind of exercises you like doing doesn't include the big uh, 45 pound bar, um, then this is a very worthwhile uh, product to get for fitness. So that's all I got for the Life Beam Smart Hat. Big fan of it. I'm going to be wearing it a lot because I like doing fitness stuff, I'm trying to be healthy and stuff. It's hard to do when I like beer and salt. If you have any questions for me, leave them in the comment section below. I'd be more happy to get to them. If this is the first time you're watching my videos, subscribe because we do lots of awesome things. Um, find me on Google Plus, Twitter, as well as Facebook. I found a new app that allows me to respond to things a little quicker rather than trying to scroll through everything on different windows. It's nice. So I'm going to be a little more talkative with you guys, we'll say. Thanks for watching. At mobilereviewsa.ca, we base everything that we do on actual usage. So when we get a smart hat, well, we're going to, well, uh, hey, <laughs> it's been like, it's been like two weeks since I've, since I've done a video and I've, I've had so much other stuff to do and I've kind of been dragging starting to do the videos again because it's just one of those things you stop doing it and you just kind of like, I don't want to do it anymore. But then you start doing it and you're like, I'm having so much fun. But it's always this hump between not talking at something inanimate and talking to normal people throughout the day like while I was on my vacation. So it's always like, I don't know, it's always this mental little hurdle that I got to get over with every single time I... Stop doing videos and then do videos again. It's, uh, I'll, I'll, well, bleh. So at Mobile Reviews 8, so Mobile Reviews 8.ca, we base everything we do on real usage. So if this is the first time you watch my videos, you're going to be like, oh, look, he's promote. Damn it! <laughs> at Mobile Reviews 8.ca, we base everything we do on